here he comes. That's some that's some garb from AK-47, brother. Keshav rocking that Cossack uh, garb. Being Russian myself, I can appreciate this. Uh, but this guy, this guy is something special. Yeah. K Dojo Warrior Tribe. They just, as you said, they, they bring the best out of people. Nothing but warriors out of there. The crowd is deafening right now for AK-47 Alexander Keshtov. Keshtov has taken his sidearms off before he enters the GPG cage. <clears throat> Keshtov, a, a large bantamweight, you know, just about as big as you can be at 135 pounds. He's tall, he's got long arms, rangy, but very powerful. Yeah. This guy's got a extensive grappling credentials. Some last minute preparations being made here as Keshtov receives the grease from the commission to make his way into the cage for this title. Giovanna bouncing around ready to go, knowing that he's about to embark on a five round battle against one of the area's best. I have goosebumps going on this from Jackson because Keshtov entering the cage. This could be over in a round. It could be a drug dragged out battle. I, I, I don't know how to call this one. I'm really eager to see how it plays out because either fighter could come out on top. Very interested to see this 135 pound title. Both fighters now in the ring. Let's send it up to Steven Peacock for the official introductions. And now for the main event of the evening, a fight for the 135 pound Global Proving Ground Championship belt. This fight will be refereed by Mr. Jasper Oliver, and it is sponsored by Pravda Vodka and Barb's Harley Davidson. Our first fighter is a 31-year-old who comes here with a 9-5 professional MMA record. He stands at 5'8 and weighs 134 and a half pounds. He represents Connors MMA out of Bellingham, Massachusetts, and out of the blue corner, his name is Billy Wolverine Gio Vanella. His opponent is a 28-year-old who has a 6-0 professional MMA record. He stands at 5 foot 8 and weighs 135 pounds, representing K Dojo Warrior Tribe out of Fairfield, New Jersey, by way of Russia. Out of the red corner, Alexander AK-47 Kestov. Here we go on our main event, Billy Giovanella taking on Alexander, AK-47 Keshtov for the GPG 135 pound strat. This is five five minute rounds of pro mixed martial arts action. Both fighters waste no time getting to the center of the ring. Giovanella not intimidated at all by the hype behind his opponent. Referee Gaspar Oliver in charge of the action. Keshtov wasting no time. Firing away with his shots. Solid right hand from AK-47, Keshtov. Keshtov fighting out of both stances here in the opening round. Both Southpaw on Orthodox. Some nice short elbows there from AK-47. AK-47 is coming in aggressive and throwing with intent with these shots. One of, one of the, uh, yeah, one of, one of the hardest skills to really develop in mixed martial arts is, is creating damage in short spaces, mm. in short awkward spaces, because you're going to find yourself in a lot of short awkward spaces, and it's just difficult to, to get the technique in to, to create actually some damage, you know, getting your whole body into these movements. So you see when when uh, AK-47 is digging for those uppercuts and elbows, he's really driving his hips into those shots. And even though they're small, there's a lot of power behind them. Interesting back fist technique. Yeah. There. 
It looked like he was going for the uh, the inside elbow, but then changed his mind at the last second. But nonetheless, AK-47 is stalking his opponent. Nice sprawl from AK-47. Giovanella goes in for the takedown. Well, well executed by Giovanella. Overhand into the shot, just textbook technique right there. But Keshtov already on top of it with a big sprawl. Giovanella putting the uh, the knee guard in on his half guard. Keshtov has to be careful here. Got to watch his arm. Just, you can just Iron with tell. Some left. You can just you can feel the reverberations of the shots there from Keshtov. Yeah. Just tons of power. Givenel's <coughs> right arm compromised here. Oh, solid left from AK-47. Keshtov firing away with vicious intentions. Firing on a Giovanella. Giovanella's going to have to do something. It's tough, you know, Giovanella, in, in a lot of these positions, you're kind of safe from, from taking a ton of damage. Mm. You know, you're not necessarily expecting to get your bell rung in somebody's position, but Keshtov has this ability to really drive in and, and threaten with, with knockout damage from these short positions. So very impressive here. Giovanella frustrating Keshtov with a, with a Kimura attempt, but nothing really on it, just buying himself some time. Another big left hand from Keshtov. Firing away. Right hand on right hand. Some hammer fists in there. Giovanella's going to have to do something. Wow. Scramble to get the reversal. Both fighters back on their feet. And now it's Keshtov who's backed against the cage. Giovanella's uh, toughness legendary right now in his ability to absorb all that punishment. Oh, solid knees from Keshtov, firing away in the clinch. These shots are definitely taking their toll. Gaspar Oliver on hand to stop this fight at any moment. Another knee. Man, AK-47. This guy, this guy is good, man. Machine gun. Giovanella drops, and it is all over. Alexander, AK-47, Keshtov is our new 135-pound champion, improving to seven. And oh, Jackson, wow. Extremely impressive performance there from Keshtov. I mean, you know, some guys get to 6 and 0 oh, just based on luck, but this guy is a legitimately undefeated fighter. Uh, I haven't seen a guy in the area at 135 pounds that hits the way he hits yeah. on the ground. I, just, I haven't seen it. It doesn't exist. This guy is something special. This guy has. You know, bombs yeah. for hands. Like you were saying, some of those short shots that might not be so damaging on other opponents, they were brutal. I mean, with the short distance, he's able to put that much impact behind his shots. Like you said, Alexander, AK-47, Keshtov is something special. I look forward to seeing him back in the GPG cage to defend his belt and and his future. This kid's future is bright, man. Yeah. Sort of a, a lost, you know, ground and pound is sort of a lost star in MMA. Uh, emphasis being on stand-up or on submissions, but he, he has actual world-class ground and pound. Just a beautiful performance from, from the Russian, Alexander Keshtov. Uh, Giovanella, though, what can you say? This guy is tough, and I know that's sort of like a consolation prize compliment there, but Giovanella, very tough, hung in there through a lot of situations that would have crumpled lesser fighters. So Juvenile is still very much relevant at 135 pounds, very tough, but Keshtov just on another level. You know, he's knocking on the door of the UFC. He's looking to, to get in there and, and take the title. I and mean, this is... Excellent performance for our new champion. Let's throw it up to our official ring announcer, Stephen Peacock, for the results. This bout is stopped at Four minutes and 12 seconds of the first round. The winner by referee stoppage, TKO, 
came out of the red corner, Alexander, AK-47, Keshtov. The new winner of the 135 pound World Championship Global Proving Ground Belt. Our new 135 pound champion, Alexander Keshtov. Beautiful, dominant performance against a very game, Billy Giovanella but Billy just wasn't good enough this night. Very relevant still in the 135 pound division, but tonight was all Alexander AK-47 cashed off. Fights, it's very tough to find fights when you put people on stretchers. Nobody wants to fight you. There's nothing really in it for anybody, but there may be somebody tough enough or foolish enough to get in the cage with him and you know, we'll see him again. Uh, I know he likes to stay active. He, he likes to fight. He wants to fight, so he's got a great network uh, through his academy, through Global Proving Ground, and uh, I look forward to seeing the next contender that they bring in.